about Bill Robertson, who passed away suddenly, uh, who's a pastor friend of mine that I've known a number of years. We were not conversant all the time, but it was a friendship that was developed many, many years ago. And, and every time we saw one another, we were always happy to see each other. It's that bond that we have in Christ. And he's one of those guys that when you meet him, you feel important to him. He's got a smile on his face and he's always excited to see you. And uh, he was just that kind of man of God. But it reminded me of, of so many people that I've had the opportunity to know, like Leo Humphrey and and uh, who's gone on to be with the Lord as well. And then of those that are actively involved in ministry today, God has blessed me with having friendships with some great men and women of God through the years. I'm just thankful today for each of their lives. It encourages me to go on, to be faithful in the things of God and to share the gospel with people and to, to be faithful to uh, the call of Christ in our lives today. And there's a verse of scripture, it's over in Hebrews chapter 12 that I was reminded of today. It says, uh, verse one, therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. I guess today I just want to be thankful for those who have lived the example that encourage me to keep on pressing on in the things of God. Sometimes we all get discouraged Sometimes things come into our life that uh, uh, we almost get defeated. <laughs> but God is so faithful, and, and I, I'm just thankful today for all those men and women that I've known, and uh, even those that are alive today on the foreign mission fields, and those that presently are faithful preachers of the Word of God. And uh, I'm just thankful today, and I wanted to make this video today to to just thank those that I know for being a living witness for Christ and encouraging me in my walk that I might be also found faithful. And uh, uh, what a life we have. But ultimately, that scripture says to keep our eyes on the author and the finisher of our faith, the Lord Jesus Christ. And... Uh, we're the joy that was set before him that sent him to the cross to pay the penalty for our sin. And, uh, oh, wow. Thank you, God, for the cloud of witnesses. Most of all, thank you for the one who died for me. Shed his precious blood that I might be forgiven and have eternal life in him. Thank you for Jesus. And thanks also to those faithful witnesses.